What's up? Hey guys, um, today we're going to try a little... What, you're bored already? Huh? This is Lily, I'm Johnny, and today we're going to talk about Korean food. There's way more to Korean food than your common dishes like bulgogi or kimbap or bibimbap or Korean barbecue, chapche. Something that is always in front of you at a Korean restaurant but always overlooked, I think, in media is the panchan, the side dishes. In this video series, I'm gonna present one side dish and we're gonna talk about it. I'm gonna tell you how it's made, where it comes from, and whatnot. So next time you go to a Korean restaurant and you see all of those side dishes, you're gonna know exactly what it is. Even myself, sometimes I go to a Korean restaurant and I don't know what something is. Especially when I'm in Korea. Actually, for the most part, I know what they are now, but you know, growing up, I was like, what the hell is that? What's this? What's this? My friends, definitely, a lot of them are like, what's this? What am I eating here? So this is to educate you, have a little fun, and we're gonna eat and try some of these dishes. Next, next segment. Let's go to the next segment. Okay, cool. So the first thing, I was at the supermarket today, the Korean market, and um, So I was uh, perusing the store, uh, the Korean store, and uh, I found this panchan, which is um, which is seasoned squid. It's fermented squid. And uh, I actually like this a lot. It's uh, really good with rice. It lasts a long time. It has a really good shelf life. Here, let's get real close to it. I'll show you what this stuff looks like. It's funky. It's funky. This stuff ferments for about a month. Well, three to four days, but up to a month before uh, you marinate it. And you get this delicious, funky, fermented squid dish. I don't know if you'd like that. Good luck. It's like, it's shredded or thinly sliced pieces of squid that's been fermented and then marinated in this Korean sauce. And it's actually quite tasty. It's, uh, it's got a lot of big flavors, but with a bowl of rice, it is delicious. Oh yeah. I forgot to tell you what this is called. So this is called ojingo chot. Ojingo means squid, and chot means, what does chot mean? Fermented seafood dishes are called chot gai. And this is a fermented squid, so it's called ojingo squid chot, which means, I guess, fermented and marinated. I don't know what chot means. I'm not totally fluent in Korean, but I'm guessing it's along those lines. So we'll just say fermented and delicious and a little bit spicy squid. That's what ojingo chan means. And it's really good. So what you do is you clean, you wash, you rinse you, your squid, you pat, pat it dry, you put it in a container, put it in the refrigerator for three to four days, up to a month if you like it super funky, and take it out. Is it that boring? Give it a little rinse and then you marinate it. The marinade is consisted of green chili peppers, fish sauce, sesame oil, red pepper flakes, chopped ginger, chopped garlic, corn syrup, and that's pretty much it. You just mix it all together and you have this. And then you can just simply enjoy it. Like this. <laughs> So grab a piece of ojingo jot here. Put it on a piece of rice, like that. That's it, white rice and this stuff here. This gives the rice a lot of delicious flavor, okay? You don't really need, it's so salty. Um, 
fermented, funky, and it's, it's really delicious. Got a nice heat to it. The rice is gonna balance it out because rice is pretty much just doesn't taste like anything. It takes on the flavor of the panchan, the side dish that we got here. And eat. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. That is delicious. It tastes like seafood, squid, obviously. It's got a nice heat to it, comes afterwards. Um, it's, it's a little bit sweet. You can taste the sesame a little bit as well. You get a little bit of seafoodiness, but it's not overpowering because the mixture of the ginger and the garlic and the sesame oil and red pepper flakes, that kind of masks it. And it's more... How do you explain this? It's just really good. The texture is soft, it's chewy. Older Korean people really like this stuff. Like my dad, my parents' generation, and beyond. Younger people, I don't think it's as, it's as popular with, especially, I don't think kids would like it. But once you have that more developed Korean food palette, this is something you, could, you would definitely enjoy. It's, I, I, I really like it. Anyways, just wanna, that's all we wanted to talk about today. Maybe uh, next time we'll do another one, uh, something a little less funky, but uh, that's enough Korean food education for you today. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you give it a try sometime. And if you need something else to watch, Click on one of my uh, other videos to learn how to make some delicious Korean or Japanese dishes. Okay, great. See you later. Bye. Mm, that's good, Lily. Thanks. Uh, high five. High five.